I don't like it because there is ham and pineapple. But also, I don't like pineapple. The pineapple grapes. So, in my opinion, I don't think pineapple belongs on pizza. In my opinion, I think cats are the best pet. Thank you. Cats are cute. I agree, but uh, I'm a dog person since I have been around dogs most of my life, and I am happy with them. We have collaborative classroom as our curricula for ELA. We use um, all components of collaborative classroom. It also involves independent daily reading. It gives our students the opportunity to choose text at their grade level or at their reading level. We use a response to intervention method. And within that, we use uh, the program SIPS through collaborative classroom. SIPS has multiple different components in it. And with those components, our students are able to progress up to two grade levels in one school year. Whole group is when a teacher will read aloud a text. Students will respond to those questions, generally with their peers, sometimes offering answers to the whole group. And then from those conversations, they learn strategies that they can apply to their independent daily reading. Parents and caregivers are learning about what students are doing and are able to also share and ask questions to their children and better understand them at a deeper level by listening to them read. We really want our students to become independent readers, writers, and thinkers. So through small groups, much of that support is from the teacher and the goal is for our students by the middle or end of the year to lead out those groups with their peers. As leaders, they are learning from each other uh, what the text has to offer. So when you walk into any one of our classrooms, you'll see a large, diverse library for our students to choose from with books that they are able to read at their reading level. This ensures confidence and gives them the support that they need to achieve their literacy goals. And that is our goal for our students, is for them to bring that joy, that curiosity, um, and ultimately that knowledge, and give them the ability to be independent in their own work. We also noticed that our teachers were gonna have collaboration with one another throughout the network, which we know is valuable when having um, professional learning communities and talking about what's working well in the classroom and maybe even challenges that we're facing and how we can better solve those together. We know our students are unique and we know that we need to serve them to the best of our abilities. Our goal at Concept Schools is for all students within our walls to become independent readers and writers and thinkers. With that, we wanna make sure that we're giving uh, tangible resources to teachers so that they're learning along with the students. They too understand the material that they're teaching and they're able to give that high quality instruction to students every single day they walk in their classroom. We believe that by continuing um, over the next seven years with Collaborative Classroom, that we will gain insight to how our students um, can think more deeply, how they can um, score even higher on the assessments nationwide that they're uh, accountable for. And we also believe that they will become uh, good citizens of our communities by using this curriculum. Today, we are going to have a book that we are reading called Survival and Loss, Native American Boarding Schools. It was very organized in a way that I understood it, but also could teach it to my students so that they would understand it. It's structured very well. So I heard a lot more confidence. They were able to understand what was being read, practice it as a group, and then do it independently. I really enjoy book clubs. One thing about book clubs is it gives the student the independence of reading what they want to read. And they're using strategies that we have learned throughout the Making Meaning and putting these into their book clubs. So they're making inferences, they are questioning what they read, they're using all these um, text strategies to try and um, learn more about what they read and understand. So I've definitely seen an improvement from it. What's our third body paragraphs start? What's our reason care? that they don't like books. My experience with collaborative classroom has been very positive. I feel the kids have gotten a lot out of it. It's very interactive, it's engaging. You know, I like how interconnected it is, how the Making Meaning unit really ties in with the being a writer unit. So they're able to get so much out of it in a very like circular way. We're now gonna look at one, we've read this before. This one is appropriately laid out, right? So let's see why this works. 
I've noticed a huge increase from maybe writing 10 minutes, a little 10 minute quick write. And honestly, I've seen a lot of quality, like quality of writing growth. So they used to maybe write three sentence paragraphs. And I've seen a ton of growth moving into essays. And we started with three paragraph essays, moved to five paragraph essays. And for that reason, they've been able to write longer and longer. And I think that built-in writing time every single day, whereas the other parts of the curriculum are four days a week, has been uh, credited to that. And when we read the book, they'll say, oh, that's one of our vocabulary words. Or a lot of them, they'll purposely make a comment in class using one of the vocab words to like practice using it. All right, we have another new paragraph here too, somewhere in this condition. Where's our next, what's our third body paragraph to start? Destiny, like the Greek word, but you got it. Okay, so keep reading, good job. I love personally collaborative classroom um, just because even like the vocabulary section like I see my kids always like you know pinpointing in their independent own independent reading books how they're like oh um, Miss Kay they're like I found this vocabulary word that we learned about or they'll even use it in sentences and they just get so excited about vocabulary and reading so I love it because they get excited about it. Now I'm seeing that they can read for 20 minutes and on. So their comprehension in the beginning of the school year I feel wasn't as strong. I think they were reading just to read and they were kind of mostly worried about the timing of like how fast they can read or you know they were worried if they were reading too slow you know what would happen but honestly throughout the school year and having this um, curriculum has really helped them slow down their reading and care more about comprehension and caring more about what they're learning from the reading and being able to answer those questions. And when they do understand like the story, they get so excited and they just light up and they like are always participating. So it's definitely been a growth with comprehension for sure. IDR kind of forces you to really sit down with that student and get to know like what type of genres they like and because I feel like last year I wouldn't have known what type of books to you know purchase for my kids and through IDR I feel like they just get so excited because I have learned what they liked on a personal level where they are choosing you know library books very in an excited way. Mom, I like writing. I like to write like opinion essays and stuff. We have a lot more writing stuff but I like that. And now I've scored higher in NWA. I have better punctuation in writing. And I know I can write stronger. I can write more. The thing I like most in Ms. Bryant's classroom is reading because it makes my, my reading more better. Like learning new words and different things. So in book club we do 10 or 15 minutes about it. Like about five questions of what we have learned and what happened about the story. I are again get good grades and achieve my accomplishments.